a skunk has such a bushy tail, why a vulture has a bald head, or maybe even why a badger has such a ferocious reputation. Well, join us today on this journey, and we will answer these and many other questions as we take a walk on the wild side. Hi, this is Francis Griffey from Active NorCal Magazine. I'm here at Turtle Bay to check out the animals and meet the people who train them. Today, I sat down with Sharon Clay, the curator of the animal programs, to discuss all things animal, from the actual shows that the animals perform in to what goes into training them. So taking care of the animals is a lot of work, and a lot of people think that we play with the animals all day and throw them some food, but every one of them has a very intricate diet. Uh, we make sure they have very nutritionally balanced diets that uh, are um, have been tested through other facilities, through nutritionists, um, so we spend a long time making sure they all have the right diets, make sure that they're not too heavy, make sure they're not too skinny, like there's a lot to it. Um, and then of course, there's making sure they're clean. I mean, they're all forced to be in captivity. They deserve to have the best possible life we can give them in captivity. And so we don't want their exhibits to be dirty for even a second. And uh, we want to make sure that they're healthy all the time. And it's, it's a lot of hours and a lot of time and dedication from the entire staff. Bobcats are the ultimate surprise hunters. They use their long claws to quickly climb trees and powerful legs propel them to pounce on rabbits. My job is extremely rewarding. I, I seriously believe I have the best career on the planet. Um, it's got its sad times and its hard times, its stressful times, but there is for me nothing more rewarding than making those connections with the animals. and watching people's faces light up when they get to have these closer interactions with the animals. It's up close picture time, here he comes! It's really important to have animals in situations like Turtle Bay and other zoo facilities because people don't have a chance to see these animals in the wild and as much as we want to say you can read about them, you can watch a special on TV, that doesn't make the connection and until you make that Ooh, ah, connection. Until you make that connection, people are going to like the animals and kind of care about them from afar. They're not going to make that difference. They're not going to change what they're doing. They're not going to be affected in their normal life. And then it's not going to help the animals in the wild. And the bottom line is, we want people to appreciate wildlife and what's out in nature and help to protect them and conserve them and have a healthy environment. And that's, that's the mission of all zoos. I mean, that is what we are here for. It's why we exist. We don't exist to play with animals, to just show off animals to people, um, to collect animals like in the old menagerie days. It's not what zoos or other facilities like this are around for. 